Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Let's Go Let's Play. Last time, our trip to Lavender to Tower was interrupted when we came across a baby Cubone, and we saw said baby Cubone take off with Team Rocket towards Celadon, so we've come here to see if we can find it, and Team Rocket has already made their presence known. I'm sure they're fine, I'm sure they're just... They're just hanging around, doing nothing bad at all. It's, it's weird to see, like, the Yakuza literally just hang, hanging around, like, no questions asked. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, if you played a Yakuza game, you think all of Japan is just roving bands of Yakuza. The Yakuza games will make you think that the Yakuza are the coolest people on the planet who all who are all about honour. And hello, Brock. I was about to say, there's Brock. This wasn't in the original game. Yeah, for the... Those who may not remember, Brock appeared at Pewter Gym and that was it. You never saw him again. See, Brock is saying that he, he came here because he needs to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was about to say, the girls at the gym all turned me away for some reason, though. <laughs> ha, anime reference. Yeah, I was going to say, having Brock be come to Celadon where the gym is completely formed of women makes so much sense. Yeah, it's basically watch the show. I wonder if this was done as a sort of like, because uh, they've probably removed the creepy old man that purrs outside the window. Oh yeah, forgot about that. I wonder if this is like their way to uh, replace as a replacement for it. Instead of the pervy old man, we have Brock. As we all know, Brock Brock has never done anything but treats women with the highest respect. Yes, totally so. So what's our first? What's our first on the agenda? Are we gonna go try and get Porygon? Oh my God! Yeah, Porygon. You can get that here, huh? I I am joking, by the way. We are not gonna waste. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I don't know if I want to spend so much time trying to get Porygon. You know what's the real shame? You spend so much time trying to get Porygon, and then you finally get it, and then you realize an uncomfortable truth. Porygon, shit. Do you want to actually explain to people who might not know how exactly you get Porygon in this game? So Porygon, if, if it's anything like the original game, you have to basically go and do the slots, the slot machines. And you have to get a shit ton of coins, win a bunch, and then buy Porygon. Who, if I remember correctly, is a man-made Pokemon, isn't it? I believe so? Yeah. So it's basically meant to be like, hey, we created our own Pokemon, here, come buy it. And it's like... It costs a load to make, and it is not great. It doesn't have many great moves. It's probably best move is try attack, and that's it. It's not really worth it. Especially because I think um, Dodrio can learn try attack as well. Yeah, I remember Dodrio can learn try, try attack. And at least Dodrio actually has a, is a flying type and actually has some better moves, while Porygon is just a normal type and just has try attack it's a shame because it looks cool especially in the oldest where like it looked it fit the retro aesthetic like it was all it looked like it was made of cubes and all this stuff it looked cool but it just didn't really it's not worth it and then in um uh gold and silver it then got an evolution oh yeah porygon 2 yeah <laughs> and then porygon z in gen 4 Oh yeah, for God, they got it. Got another one. Was that one any good? I actually can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. By the way, I love how we completely talked over the fact that we ran into Game Freak employees up there. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is also the area where, if in the original game, if you caught all 150 Pokemon or 151, I think you had to get Mew as well. Um, you got a little in-game achievement. What did it give you? Just a little plaque that said you caught all the Pokemon. Good job, and that's it. Nothing else. In the context of this world, though, surely this kid's running up and meeting these people and them going, Hey, I'm the game director. I, I'm the programmer. I, I'm the art designer. I made you. You'd be like, okay. <laughs> You'd be having an existential crisis. It's just a building full of insane people. Sorry, I've walked into Arkham Asylum right here. <laughs> yeah, it's... In the content of the world it doesn't make sense, but it's very obvious it, in the original it was just basically like a hey, here's the developers. <laughs> so I should probably clarify, the goal for this episode is at the very least, explore Saladon City, 
and most likely take on the Celadon Gym because there's actually a lot going on in this city that we're not going to cover in a single episode unless we, oh, want it, yes. unless we want it to run for like two to three hours. Question. Um, I can't remember in the original game. Could we do Celadon Gym straight away or did we have to get rid of Team Rocket first? I'm pretty sure you can do Celadon before Team Rocket. I mean, the gym, I should specify. Oh, wait, it might be Saffron. You have to do Team Rocket first before you did the gym. Yeah, so that's uh, way later. That's it. I got the two mixed up. But to be fair, they're both Team Rocket areas. So, yes, this is the big department store where you can go buy everything, including loads of fire, leaf, and water stones. Yeah, this was very much the place you needed to go if you wanted to uh, evolve your Pokemon. There's a lot of good stuff here, and we're definitely going to take our time having a look at what's there. Poor Trogs, although. <laughs> <laughs> uh, buddy? Buddy, you okay there? There we are. Oh yeah, I think we can buy some TMs here. This is just the usual stuff. Yeah, here's the TMs. Anything useful here? Dragon Tail, ooh. Ooh. Iron Tail, Waterfall. See, look, try attack right there. <laughs> Hyper Beam for 100,000. We can't even afford that. Uh, These are pretty expensive, though, and look at how much money I have. Yeah. Might leave those for the time being. Maybe there's a costume shop in this area as well. Oh, that'd be nice. What's what's your opinion on Hyper Beam? Do you think it's a, a worthwhile move, or do you think it's just it wastes a turn? Oh, Hi Hyper Beam's useful. Like, it's so powerful. I feel it's useful like when you're like, you've got one more Pokemon to beat. And it's like, okay... Let's put all our... Let's put everything into this one last attack. Also, hey, look, loads of Eevee and Pikachu ones. It could... Is that a Minecraft reference? Oh, I see that. No. No, that's... um. Ah, oh, crap. I forget the name of it. But there was another Pokemon game that was... It was a free-to-play game that they released that had this art style. And I can't... Oh, I can't for the life yes. of me remember its name. I know what you're talking about now, yeah. So for one moment, I completely got thrown off. Like, hang on. Coming to Switch. Minecraft Pokemon. I may as well, honestly. Yeah. Then po po Pokemon video games must exist in this world, right? I'm assuming so. But it'd be like, um... It wouldn't be just, like, specifically based on Pokemon. It'd be, like, normal games, but they've got Pokemon shoved in them. Yeah. I also love it where it was like, it's an RPG, but I haven't got time to play this. It's like, yep, yeah, that's, that's adult life right there. God, yeah, God, if that isn't the most relatable <laughs> thing right now. I feel your pain. I remember back in the day where I'm like, no, I want all games to be super long and I've played them loads of times. And it's like, oh, God, no. <laughs> Enjoy the, the smaller ones while they last. Yeah, not every game needs to be a thousand hours long, guys. Mm-hmm. Very much so. Oh, I think we found the area. Oh my god, we can get the bow ties. Bows. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, they do this thing where you gotta, like, go into it multiple times. Oh, that's annoying. I wish you could kind of get a preview of it as well. Yeah. Because like, they're not massively expensive, but they're still a bit expensive. But wait, are these like cosmetics for? I'm assuming they must be only for Pikachu. I think, yeah, I think this is. Maybe it's on each floor. Like this floor's de dedicated to Pikachu. Maybe the next one is for, for other people. What is the Diglett store? Oh my God, we could put a Diglett on a Pikachu's head on Pikachu. I'm curious. Yeah, Diglett cap. Oh, it's only fifty. Yeah, let's take this. I was about to say, yeah, steal. Yeah, so these are for the clothing trunks. So I'm assuming these are for, these are for you and Pikachu. I can see it right here. We can give Pikachu a crown. Really? Yep, I can. I just saw it. I was like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at the little <laughs> Diglett cap. Oh, it's not for us. It's only for Pikachu. Okay. Yeah, fair. As funny as that would be, I'm like, I don't want to spend too long messing about with uh, Pikachu's uh, cosmetics, really. I'm assuming the elegant hat is the crown. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh dear. 
friggin' one percent. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's a that's a bit pricey, guys. What's that, Cadbury's? Yeah, you want a lemonade? Yeah, why not? I'll get you a lemonade. Back in the day when these were more useful than super potions. Because I'm pretty sure in the original it was like they cured for like 60 while super potions cured for 50. It's like, might as well just stock up on those. Imagine if, like, uh, these vending machines work like real life ones, where sometimes you put your money in, you the drink's about to fall out, but they get stuck on the little hook. Oh, I had that at work, like, at the beginning of the year, and I was like, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, that happened, that's happened to me so many times with the vending machines back at school. Oh, I, I never got them from school for that very reason. <laughs> they were always so crap. I was loving that child as like the kid from Persona 4 where it's like, hey, I'm, I'm hungry or thirsty, okay. It's like, okay, here's some bugs. No, no reason for that reference to Persona 4, no reason at all. Okay, it looks as if, because I remember a few episodes ago I was saying, or even in the last episode I was saying, oh, when we get to the Sardin Department Store, we can buy like the stat boosting items so we can get like a uh, shield's defense up. But it looks like those items don't exist in this game, I guess. Hmm. That's a bit worrying. Maybe our Pikachu just does. Maybe that's like a baked into the to our normal Pikachu. Maybe? Actually, no. I tell you what. I think the reason why those items don't exist is because we have the candy jar that does exactly that. Oh, uh, yeah. And I've been making a point of not using these. Yep, that might be why. Yeah, okay, well, again, if it ever gets to a point where we're absolutely stuck in, like, if we hit, hit <coughs> excuse me, if we hit a wall, uh, then I will consider using the stat boosting candies, but for the time being, I like to not use them. Well, that's the exit. That's the wrong way. <laughs> you know what I'd really like in, like, the next mainline Pokemon game? What's that? Having something like this, where we could, like, dress up our Pokemon, but have it be... Obviously, they won't be able to do it for all Pokemon because that will, Jesus, take ages and ages of coding and everything. But maybe, like, for your starters and maybe for a couple of others. I don't know. I kind of I kind of like it. They already did that with the Pikachus in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Yeah. They kind of... They didn't... Uh, did they do it for Sword and Shield? I don't think they did at all. No, I don't think there was any cosmetics. I mean, obviously, cosmetic for the trainers, but not for Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully in the next one they give us a bit more options for that, because I'm, I'm liking what we were able to do with Capri's over here. And it just gives a little bit more of a, a personal touch to our own Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we come here again? The big question, where does the meat come from? <gasps> <laughs> Soylent Green is Pokemon! Do you believe that people eat Pokemon in this world? Hmm. I don't think so. I don't know. It's one of those. It's hard to think, isn't it? Because, like, they have such an attachment to. to their, their Pokemon. I feel like they wouldn't eat Pokemon. I could be wrong. Maybe. All the meat is fake, and everyone in this world yes. is everyone in this world is a vegan. It's a possibility. Either that, or it's like the original anime days where there are actual just normal, normal animals as well as Pokemon. Yeah. Nowadays, it's very much a case of normal animals don't exist in the world of Pokemon. Which is hilarious when they do mention ones like, oh, this is the sheep Pokemon. It's like, how do you know what a sheep is? Yeah, then what's a sheep? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. How do you know what that is? <laughs> think one of my, uh, I'm bringing up again one of my favourite uh, Swayze Pokemon Journey jokes he made. is when James, like, uses a slingshot to attack a Tauros. 
And he goes, I got a bullseye. What's a bull? <laughs> Don't you mean a Taurus eye? Uh, no, no, lass. That's that's a dead end. Oh dear, I think we need to get some on their glasses. Surely this will piss off the grass trainers even more. And that accomplished nothing. I'm just back yeah. here. <laughs> Did I need to? No, I didn't need to do that. I can get to this right here. Huh. Okay, well, this is the game corner. We'll check that out later. I'm sure it's not important or anything. No, no, totally not. Actually, now here's the question. Now I need to remember... How do I get into Celadon Gym? Because isn't that it? Oh no, that's not it. That's something else entirely. Then where the heck's the gym? I'm assuming it's that big building in front, isn't it? No, that was the no, it can't, that was the shopping mall. This is the Game Freak building. Am I just being really stupid? <laughs> I know it's not up here. In fact, actually, no, we should go this way, because this will actually be interesting. So I remember there's a building that you can get to from here, where there's a guy who gives you an Eevee in the original game. But I'm assuming that's not going to be the case here, is it? Could you imagine if it just gave you the opposite game's mascot? I mean, that'd be cool. It'd be crazy. Yeah, you come into the building from this side. Ah, uh, there we go. And then we just end up at the the rooftop, like, well, this was pointless. Yeah, it's like, there's nothing here. No, it just, yeah. it turns into the stairs <laughs> sequence from Final Fantasy VII. You're just like, oh, it doesn't end. <laughs> okay, we got a TM. Who the hell are you? Buddy, are, are you okay? Oh, he's having a he's having a moment. Well, it's a simulation, man. It's all a game. <laughs> Do you think there's a Matrix trilogy in this world, but it's all Pokemon? Wait, you mean like all the actors are Pokemon, or the aliens in the Matrix are replaced with Pokemon? Both. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> What Pokemon would Keanu Reeves have? <laughs> Damn, that's actually a good question. He'd definitely have a Wulu. Or a dog Pokemon. Yeah, like, maybe like a Bolton. Yeah, Bolton I can see. Or, oh, what's the, um... Not Houndour or Houndour, but what's the one from Gen 3? Oh, uh, Puchiena? Puchiena, that's it. Or maybe he'll have the bolt hound, and then Agent Smith will have that one. So it's like, ah, oh, it's the dark parallel. Ah, oh, here we go! Yay! At long last, S.H.I.E.L.D. can finally achieve his destiny. And then we check, and they've actually got lower defense. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, how? This is the moment, like... Yeah, when Vegeta went Super Saiyan for the first time. It stops being angry only when nobody else is around. To view this moment is very difficult. I don't appreciate your sass, Pokedex. <laughs> it's, it's just that moment where it's like, it stops being angry, it's like, and it's just like... I'm actually very nice. It starts with, like knitting and everything. James, look at Primeape's height and weight. Oh. This is actually apparently lower than average for a regular Primeape. This explains so much. Yeah. <laughs> Shield has been the runt of the litter this whole time. Oh. Also, Rage would be very appropriate for its character, but. Uh... I was about to say, yeah. 
raises the attack stat each time the user is hit in battle. That's good, but whenever shield gets hit, it dies very quickly. So, as character appropriate, appropriate as it might be, I think we're gonna not bother. Yeah, it, our, our shield is a glass cannon. Which is not a very good shield when you think about it. <laughs> You know, now that shield's evolved... Yeah, let's get him out. And then we can use him for a single battle, and then just give him away to a random stranger. For no reason. Do we look like Ash? No, I'm not bitter. <laughs> I love his waddle. It looks like it's chasing us. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. How do you feel, Shield? You happy you're evolved? Oh, he's so happy. Look at him, he's so happy! Oh, I just want to give him a hug and then probably probably be beaten up. He like crush your spine. Yeah. <laughs> Where the heck is this gym? I think it's that rounded build. Oh, we can't even go out this way, never mind. Oh yeah, still like. Yeah, hang on, it's th it's this building here. I think it's that rounded building, yeah. Yes, but how do we get there? Oh, hang on. There's something down here. Ah, oh, there we go. Aha! Why do they make this gym so hard to find? Isn't the whole point that, <laughs> like, you want people to come to challenge your gym? They're actually very shy. How many, like, trainers do you think had to give up on their careers because they couldn't figure out how to reach Salad on Gym? Fate is a cruel mistress. <laughs> I mean, don't forget, in the anime, the Gym straight up didn't let Ash compete at first because he dares to criticise their perfume business. Oh yeah, I forgot about that plot point. He had to sneak in disguised as a girl. Didn't the Gym also get burnt down? Uh, it did get set on fire, but then Ash saved it, and so he got a badge. Another case of not fighting, eh, Ash? Also, the pervy old man is here, but he's like, Oh no, his gym's great, it's full of strong trainers. That's not what you said in the original game. You can't hide your sins, game freak. <laughs> we remember. We remember. They may as well have just, like, not kept him. They should have removed him, because then why bother? Yeah. Especially with the older crowd are like, we, we know who this is. I'll see, even like the guy who's usually here to uh, welcome you to the gym isn't here, it's just a girl. Because yeah. again, only girls in this gym. Also, you only let trainers with cute Pokemon enter? What a stupid condition! <laughs> it's okay, we have Cadbury's. <laughs> Can you imagine they're like, Cadbury's, that's not cute at all. Uh, pardon me. Like, what's the what conditions do you need to meet? Is it like, do you need to have a very spe a specific type of Pokemon to get into the gym? Maybe, because that sounds stupid. I suppose having Pikachu or Eevee, which you're going to have, is like, you know, a guaranteed way of getting in. James, do you think you can look up to see if there's any other Pokemon that count? Uh, let me have a look. And I looked up the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> I I looked up Cerulean instead of Celadon. I mean, for a second I thought you were saying, like, wait a second, this is a Pokemon, this is Monster Rancher. <laughs> Silly, Michael. Who would get that mixed up? Funny enough, I always wanted to try and get the uh, Monster Rancher games, because that cool thing where back in the day it's like, okay, put in a music CD and that actually gives you your monster. It's like, that sounds so cool, though. That is really cool. I wish more did that. Well, CDs are kind of dying out, aren't they? So there's not really yeah. much point to make a game like that. Maybe if it was like, upload an MP3 and that generates your creature. Uh, I just looked it up. Apparently it doesn't matter. 
Oh, so you, you, you can show any Pokemon and they go, oh, this is super adorable. Yeah, you can come in. Yeah, someone showed a Kadabra and they were just fine with it as well. So are you saying that if I said, like, that she said, hey, I want to see your cute Pokemon and I offered Shield, she'd be like, this Primeape is the cutest shit I've ever seen. You're in. Yep. You could show up a muck and she'd be like, oh my god, it's so cute. But then why bother having that in in the first place? I don't know. If it doesn't matter what Pokemon you show, that's such an arbitrary roadblock. If it doesn't matter what you do, you're going to get through anyway. I have a perfect answer for that, Michael. Oh yeah, what's that? Moving right along. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Oh, crap, I'm back where I started. Okay, never mind. I will say, this visually, this gym looks great. Yeah. It's very pleasant looking. I'm, I'm liking the maze aesthetic as well. This might be my favourite gym so far, just in terms of visuals, which is pretty ironic, because if I was a real-life Pokemon trainer and I was going on a gym challenge, I'd hate this place, because my hay fever would be kicking up something fierce. By the time I get to Erica, I'm like, I've... <laughs> I challenge. Oh god, my eyes! Time to t to down all the hay fever tablets. I wonder if that. Can you imagine if that's ever happened? Like two trainers challenge each other to a battle, and it's like, okay, I send out Ivysaur, and the opposing trainer is like, no, please, no Ivysaur. Look, I'll let you win. You win. Just like the pollen just messes up my eyes. I suppose that's one way to win. <laughs> then the other trainer's like, oh, do, do you suffer really bad from hay fever? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay, uh, Ivysaur, come back. Uh, Psyduck, will that, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless they're like, no, I have a fear of water too. Okay, I send out Eevee. Ah, fur! I'm allergic to that too. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god, I can't win! And then they start giggling. It's like, aha, my master plan. I forgot, I don't think we saw any fire-type moves in the Celadon market, did we? Uh, no. I mean, Dragon Tail would have been nice for uh, Trogdor, maybe, but I think Dragon Breath will do us just fine. Yeah. I love that. Weren't you peeking here earlier? You've got, like, an old man that stands outside your building 24-7. How have you not reported him? Call the police. <laughs> I'm sure we've talked about Oddish, but what's your opinion on Gloom? Gloom, I've always had for. I love the idea behind it and everything. Like, it's based on those um, those really foul-smelling plants, like in South America. Yeah. It's like, I always feel like a bit creeped out by it. Just like, ugh. I feel like it's very easy to criticize Gloom's design because it looks pretty ugly. But then, that's the point, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mine's not a criticism of it. It's it's like no that's I like the, I like its design I just find it ugh. yeah exactly and the, you know this the fact that it then evolves into a far more pretty Pokemon which is still based on the stink on those um horrible flowers well unless you evolve it into a blossom but that's not this gen nope but that's next one I never got a blossom I think neither did I blossom doesn't exactly look like it'd be useful in battle. Maybe it, maybe it's like a, a good like a uh, status user like it's all about you know inflicting status ailments on the opponent but I don't see it exactly being a uh, powerhouse of a Pokemon. It might have like reached its apex when they introduced like um two on two. Yeah, they should make a Mega Valplume or a Mega Blossom. That'd be cool. But if they made a Mega Valplume, all that would change was that the, its big petals would just get even bigger. It'd be like what Venusaur looks like in Sword and Shield. Oh yeah, Gigantamax Venusaur. Gigantamax Blastoise looks ridiculous and I love it. I know, it's, it's full of cannons. Just give it more guns. More. More! It's like America made it. <laughs> Topical. Well, I don't want Trogdor to be like... I mean, Trogdor probably can safely steamroll this entire gym, but... I just want to mix it up like a little bit. Uh, 
Oh. Oh dear. This was a mistake. <laughs> well, errors have been made. <laughs> I guess fighting isn't effective against poison. But digging will be. Hopefully. That's what we should have done. We should have dug our way into the gym. <laughs> Don't think they would have appreciated that. <laughs> Popping out of the ground. I challenge you to a battle. Get you ruined the flooring of my gym, you asshole. Get out of here. Oh, even the even evolving hasn't done him any favors. I'm gonna be honest. I'm seriously considering maybe at some point having to replace Shield with another Pokemon in the future. I th I'm gonna be honest. I feel like we're gonna have to. Maybe um, bringing a Psychic type or a Flying type, because we're still very weak to Fighting types. I don't want to bring in a Flying type because Trogdor is eventually going to get the Flying typing. That's true. So maybe a Psychic. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because I feel like this is going to be our only option, really. But I feel bad for him. It's like, I want to give him a chance. You know what tr Shield is? Shield is like, you know, in the early game when you have... It's like, okay, this is the one that like really does well in the early game, but in like the mid to late game, it's like, okay, you kind of put them to the side and use other characters. That shield. Are you saying shield is the butterfree of our party? Yes. Oh god. <laughs> hey, fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I actually remember, you know we were talking about uh, Nuzlocke comics in like the previous episode. One Nuzlocke comic I remember seeing it was a uh, this one person did use a butterfree in their team and this butterfree lived to the end of the game. Oh damn. This butterfree was apparently really strong. It just refused to go down. Yeah, it was like, apparently it was like really good. I mean, to be fair, Gigantamax's Butterfree is pretty damn good as well. I'm still mad it never got a Mega Evolution. Yeah. I mean, again, to be fair, at least it got a Gigantamax. I guess. And the Gigantamax is pretty damn cool. Yeah, but the problem with Gigantamax is that it's so situational. Yeah, true. Hopefully that'll be something they'll... F I say they'll fix in the sequel. They won't. They won't. Gigante makes to be dropped. Dynamax what? It's a shame because I want... I like... I love like the, the raid battles we have in Sword and Shield. I kind of want those to come back. Maybe with a better internet connection and with better teammates. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I want that to come back. Ah, oh, there we go. We seriously do need to get a better fire move. We really do. But then again, I, I looked it up like again. It's like it's like level. It's in the thirties. We get our next good fire move. It's like Jesus. I mean, it's working for us so far. Yeah, we, we're staying okay. Just saying, other fire Pokemon have better fire type moves by now. Just saying. I'm starting to think maybe having Shield out during this gym was a bad idea because he can't fit through the hallways. I was about to say, they keep getting stuck. Okay, what you got? Oh, another Weeping Bell. What do you prefer, Weeping Bell or Gloom? Shit, that's actually really tough. Ha <laughs> ha! Honestly, I I have no idea. They're both pretty the pretty same, really. I think maybe Weeping Bell, but it's only because it evolves into Victory Bell, and that's only because of the anime. I was about to say, it's like the stuff that happens in the anime with James. His wacky shenanigans are always nearly getting eaten by his Victory Bell. It's still really silly about how, like, he caught Weeping Bell off screen, left it in a breeding center, which he then forgot about, and then when he happens to break into that same breeding center, he's like, Oh, hey, my Weeping Bell's a Victory Bell now. Oh, it's eating me! Oh, wow. Our speed went up by one. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and still no fire-type moves. <laughs> Let's send out Melt. Oh, that's right, I forgot! 
We taught Cadbury's a new move last episode. Oh, we did! Oh, yes. Hey, you bundle of vines. Say hello to this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, it didn't do as much damage as I hoped, but that's still like, what? Oh my god! Oh wow, never mind. I think one more floaty float will do it. Maybe. Let's risk it. That animation. No, it didn't. Cadbury's probably gonna die. Oh shit. I'm sorry, Cadbury's, I failed you. Damn, this Tangle is a tough one. I mean, if I had Trogged her out, he'll probably go down pretty easily, but like, he's, a, he's looking a bit rough at the moment, so. War of attrition it is. <laughs> I don't think Tangler's part poison, so this should work. Oh crap, no it is! Shit. <laughs> is it? I'm pretty sure it's pure grass. I thought it was pure grass. Can you double check for me? Yeah, it's poor, pure grass. I guess grass types can't be affected by poison? When, when was that ever a thing? I thought they could. Let me have a look. I'm looking at its abilities. It might have Leaf Guard, which prevents status problems in sunny weather. But it's not sunny. I mean, the sun is out, but it's technically not sunny. I'm as confused as you. God, this was a bad matchup. <laughs> Oh god, what have we done? And he keeps getting back all the health that I took away with Pikachu, god damn it! It's like, this this episode has been going swimmingly, what could possibly go wrong? Oh... Yeah, Trogdor's literally the only good choice we have against these bloody grass types. I forgot, does the chimney have a Tangela? Does Erica have one? I think she does. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm tempted to say maybe use some of the attack uh, candies on Pikachu just so that flying move does a bit more damage. Thing is, though, I've got so much of these, like, stat boosting candies, I don't want to risk then making my team overpowered. Yeah. N not all of them, just like a couple, just to raise Pikachu attack stat a little bit. Who'd have thought this Tangler would be the bane of our existence right now? Also, I just realised we are running low on that Amber. Doesn't matter, it's dead now. dead, we don't have to see it ever again. Honestly, I didn't even need to fight this one. I'm, d I'm d d just doing this to myself now. <laughs> to be fair, we're doing it for the experience. Yeah. Because I am getting the sense that Erica might be really hard. Oh nah, she'll be fine. I mean, are we forgetting how tough Surge was? Yeah. <laughs> When we had to do it twice. Shh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> also, do we have any ethers? I think we do, but if worse comes to worse, we can just run back out to the Pokemon Center. Oh yeah, true. Also, sending out a bell sprout. I still remember in Silver when I was like, okay, what's our first little place? Oh, we've got to go through the bell sprout tower. Everyone's got bell sprouts. And I'm like, I have a Cyndaquil. 
this is going to be easy experience right here. I mean, you'd be mad if you entered Bellsprout Tower and they all used, uh, like, friggin', like, Pidgeys. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's just false advertising. You lied to me. This is all lies. Maybe that should be a mechanic they use for future gyms, where, like, they tell, they tell you that their gym is one typing, but it's actually another. All false advertising. Or at the very, they should do like something, uh, have like some sort of twist to the gym so it's not as predictable as it always is. Because, you know, usually it's like, okay, what's the next gym? Water. Okay, I'll go train up my electric and grass types then. Yeah. Especially how they've made it a lot easier to level up your Pokemon in recent games. Oh, especially in Sword and Shield. Oh, yeah. Which honestly is one of like the, I think it's one of his best qualities. Yeah. It means you don't have to go, oh god, i got to grind now for ages to get some Pokemon up. It's like, no, nah, you can do it fairly quickly. Especially if you do the um, the raids. Yeah, exactly. Like, Jesus, don't... when I first used one of those candies, oh, okay, it won't be that much. Oh my god, it's huge. Oh, here we are. Finally got there. Okay, you know what? Now we're going to backtrack to heal up at the Pokemon Center. So, uh, <laughs> future me, can you cut here, please? And we're back. And uh, James looked up in the interim that the reason why Poison Powder didn't work on Tangela is because Powder moves don't work on Grass types anymore. They changed that in Gen 6. Which explains a lot. Curses. Did you fall asleep on me? Huh. Are you ignoring me? <laughs> Either that or she's narcoleptic. I mean, isn't the joke that like, oh, she's a stoner, cause grass. I got it. Drugs are funny. <laughs> I mean, when used in the right context. I don't know, I feel, I've, so, somebody pointed out that it's like such like a lazy comedy idea. It's like, oh hey, I'm high. Like, that's the joke. It's like, no, it's it's not. Fair. Oh god, another Tangler. <laughs> I knew it, but don't worry, Trog Trogdor like decimated the last one. And oh, that one's got a much higher level. I think we'll smokescreen it a bit just in case. There we go. Aha! See, it paid off for once. Actually, wait a second. Doesn't Dragon Rage... Yeah, it always inflicts 40 HP damage. So, well, I'll use Ember first. And if it doesn't kill it, I can use Dragon Rage next time. Oh! <laughs> ah! Ouch. I love that. Not very effective. That wasn't effective? No, no, never mind. I ain't taking the risk. Just kill this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Get it, get it, get it, get it. To be fair, Amber did a lot of damage to it, so... Why do you keep calling it Amber? It's Ember. Ember. It's okay, Trogzor, this is your moment. <laughs> your time in the sun. <laughs> Not that, that close-up of Weeping Bell. <laughs> Duh! No, no. You say, Duh, I see. I can see your soul. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Note to self, don't mock Weeping Bell. <laughs> I heard that! Okay, Capri's. <laughs> well, this should kill it. Like, Embo uh, Trogdor already did most of the work. <laughs> Have I passed it on to you now? There we go. Okay, this actually is going not as bad as Surge's. Although it might go as bad as the, the one on the, the cruise ship. We got to the Eevee and it just decimated the team. I think it's because like the level gap between our Pokemon and Erika's isn't as wide as it was with Surge's. That's true. 
You may not be you may be immune to powder if you're not immune to like thunder wave. But that was just mean. That was just unnecessary. Actually no, I'll tell you what, let's get some damage in. Wait no, because it will just probably gain it back with friggin' Mega Drain, so To be fair, we've not got that much HP left. Yeah, but Pat like Cadbury's we get the first move though. So we get the damage in, but then Varbden we just probably re recoup it. Yeah, but we're on like twenty HP, we'd only get like it'd only get like ten. Sorry, Cadbury's, you had to be a sacrifice. Oh, Cadbury's. <laughs> You mean? We get it to just a little bit of health. Erica uses full restore. You son of a! <laughs> I mean, they're at they're at that point though, where the gym leaders yeah. will start using items. Wait, what? How? Are you, what? But the what? We're in a building, and it's daytime. Don't question it. <laughs> Okay, shield, have your moment. Oh no, I'm sending out shield as a sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, shield. Even as he was fainting, he was like, friggin' really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shield. I evolve and I still don't get any respect? Shield, we're sorry. Oh, I was worried about this. Oh dear. Oh, this is going to be one of those fights. This is not good. <laughs> okay, they did a bit more. Yeah, I think Dragon Rage is going to be our friend in this fight. Yeah, de dealing damage is all that matters. God, be paralyzed for once! <laughs> Wait, who have we got left? Pokemon that are weak to grass. Oh no. Yeah, you think fruit or melt's going to stand a chance against this thing? <laughs> I just noticed well, Violet Poop's got red eyes. It's the Terminator. It wants us dead. Oh, now you're too paralyzed to move. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had to rely on items as much as I have at this moment. I swear Mega Drain did not used to hit this hard back in the day. No, no, poison powder doesn't work. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. <laughs> if I send Trogdor out now, it's just going to take damage from from Mega Drain. So I need to send somebody else out to die so I can send Trogdor in without worrying about him taking a hit. Oh? Oh my god, use Earthquake. Come on. Use Earthquake and knock it out. <laughs> Will this work? Because it is part poison, but I don't think that... Oh my god! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I can't believe that. That's dumb. <laughs> Fruit MVP of the match. <laughs> I'm, okay. Fruit, Trogdor, Cadbury's and Pads were, were like the biggest contribu contributors to this battle. And poor Shield... I oh. oh I feel maybe I should give him away to like a stranger because he'd probably do a better job of raising this prime egg than I do and oh my god it's happening at last oh man that even even shields had his own evolution get overshadowed now this game hates shields <laughs> 
Oh, shield. Oh, he's a he's a big boy. Look yeah. At that. He's six ten. <laughs> Petal dance. Let me remind me what that does. Um, I think it hits pretty hard. I think it also I can't remember if it gets confused or anything. Oh yeah, the yeah. user attacks the target by scattering petals for two to three turns. The user then becomes confused. Uh... I feel it's useful. It's just. I think what we've got will do us just fine. Honestly, Cadbury should not give me a high five. He should have just smacked me in the face. That's for letting me die, asshole! <laughs> Considering how many we sacrificed in this damn match. I'm just imagining F Fruits looking at me going, You sent me out to die, didn't you? No, I, t I totally knew you'd beat that Valplume. We sent it out to die, and instead it won us the match. I would agree that it's a wonderful move, Erica, as you have so clearly demonstrated. In fact... Uh, oh, actually, what's Cadbury's got to say? It's probably just to cheer us on. Yeah, he's just happy. Thanks, Cadbury. Hey, Shield, how are you doing? Fuck off! Oh, yeah. There we go, let's give him the TM. Yeah, I think I think we can probably get rid of Leech Seed now. Mega Drain will do us just fine. Yeah. Pads look so out of place now amongst our team. Look how big yeah. his sprite is compared to everyone else's. I mean, to be fair, Pads been our MVP for so long. It's like, you know what? They deserve to evolve first. They have, yeah. And they were like of the th of the three starters, they were our first, so it only makes sense. Yep. Okay, let's see how they run. Now we need to somehow get out. Oh my! It's not even popping up. It's probably because it's too big to fit inside the gym. <laughs> oh, that's that's kind of lame, but I get it. Don't worry. Once we're out, he'll appear. There he is! Oh, look at his run! Flop, 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 flop. I love it so much. Who's a good one? Thanks, Pad. First things first, let's go heal up again. So then once I say a thousand times, this is why Bulbasaur's always my favourite, because they will hold the line. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Even though, like, I will admit Venusaur can, probably has, like, the, the weakest design of the starter evolutions, like, compared to Charizard and Blastoise, I don't know. There's something about it that I just like. Hmm. Like, I feel like I shouldn't, because really, you look at it, it's like, it's big and warty and a bit like, ugh. But, I don't know. I just love him. I mean, you saw my reaction when we saw Bulbasaur in, um, Detective Pikachu. Oh, Bulbasaur was so adorable in Detective Pikachu. It's like, oh my god, they're adorable. <laughs> they, it probably would have lost it a bit if it opened its mouth and it did that Bulbasaur! <laughs> <laughs> no, they gave it a much cuter voice in the movie. Look how big Pad is on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. I love it. In fact, I think, like, uh, let's move Pad to the front for the time being, just so we can... Uh... Actually, no, I'll tell you who's going at the front. Shield, he needs the levels. <laughs> oh, cool, yeah, they're like 28 compared to 34. I will make a mon out of you, Shield. <laughs> Play the song from Mulan. Exactly. Unfortunately, that's going to be next time. I think it's worth stopping here because we did accomplish quite a bit. Got ourselves yep. got explored Celadon. Got ourselves a fourth gym badge. But that's not why we're here. Well, not the only reason we're here. We still need to find that Cubone. And we did hear from a Team Rocket Grunt that we shouldn't check the game corner. It says to me that we should. So, uh, this is Michael Beckwith saying goodbye. This is James Hall saying goodbye. And we'll see you next time as we enter the game corner and see if we can find that Cubone. Goodbye. Goodbye.